Well, welcome to what's broken. Working on my my Mazda B4000 again. Uh, one thing I noticed when I first bought it was the amount of space in the grill. There's nothing to really stop rocks or maybe a bird or any debris from coming through and hitting the radiator. So I've been kind of thinking about how to how to correct that. It's completely open space. And then down below this whole section is open which would let a good size whatever in. And if you look at look at some of the front of the I think it's the oil cooler and same with the rad up above you can see where little rocks have hit and bent over the cooling fins and if too much of that happens you can maybe have an overheating problem as well the the uh, the cooling channels that run horizontally here they're you know they're completely exposed to anything that might come through this pretty substantial gap uh, a couple of the lakes that I like to go fishing at have a fair amount of gravel road so and I believe they're they're logging roads as well so you have lots of oncoming traffic so I'd like to limit the opportunity for something to come through here anyhow that's what I'm going to be nothing's broken but I'm going to do a little preventive work to uh, hopefully stop things from getting broken and what I'm thinking about for the for the upper part here is I have some aluminum uh, patio screen mesh left over from I don't know another project and for the below section <laughs> I I found a some kind of cooking tray in my oven that I never use and I took the liberty a couple of days ago of spraying what will be the outside with uh, that bed liner, that rubberized bed liner. So I'm thinking of somehow fitting that down below. Uh, I don't I don't think the the extra resistance or whatever will limit the amount of air going past it to cool, but I'll I'll be keeping an eye on that. The grill on these Mazdas or Ford Rangers is pretty simple. There's four four little screws or bolts that come out and then there's two clips at the bottom you just kind of pop them out so this is the area that I'm going to look at filling in with with the uh, bug screen and then I'll figure figure out how to mount that, that perforated tray down below I'm going to cut this a little larger to begin with. Go make it oh, 30 inches. I'm going to try to tuck it underneath here and then wrap it over the top. So 30 inches by a couple inches there, 8, 30 by 10. So there's a hole in the, uh, the screen here. Make a mark with a black marker. Cuts fairly easily with a pair of old scissors.
what do we say, 30 inches. There we have it, a piece that's 30 inches by about 10 inches. Now I kind of want to work it under here a couple inches. I'll need to cut a section or two out just for the profile. Okay, now I'll go about fitting this under. Bring that back. That should be just about enough. And I pre-drilled some holes, six of them, so I'll use some smaller self-tapping screws. 
maybe some small washers hold those in place. Two more should do it. And last one. This should flip back up into place. I'll hold it in place with a couple of clips and slip the grill back on. Pop these four screws back in. Just trim off most of the excess. Well, there we go. That should keep bugs and small rocks out from bouncing through. Now we'll see what we can do about this bottom. These holes are about seven inches apart back from the days when we used to have license plates and none of these really line up with the seven so I'll, I think I'll drill a couple of new holes on seven inch centers and then run some bolts through so I made a couple marks
Make a couple holes. That'll work. I just want to check the bolt length. inch and a half will be long enough or if I need something a little longer. I think I'll go with the two inch bolts. You have to find the hole. There we go. I'll trim these off after. And there's number two. Doesn't have to be super heavy duty, just enough to deflect any little rocks and big insects or small birds. Hopefully no birds. But I'm gonna tighten these up a little bit and then I'll figure out might just use zip straps here to, to hold it in tight near the bottom. Okay. on the head. And a bit of a deeper socket. Well, a dollar, dollar twenty-five, dollar fifty from the dollar store, painted black. It almost looks factory. <laughs> Just wanna. I don't know if I'll need something on the bottom. I think I'll run it for a bit and see if that makes any noise, vibration-wise or or other. And they're pretty solid. I'm going to take a hacksaw and cut these off, file them down so there's no sharp edges, and call that one finished. Alright, well, maybe we'll see you on the next one. Have a good day.